hi guys welcome back to my channel I am so happy to have you guys back in today's video I really want to show you on how you can create this romantic DIY double hula hoop red roses centerpiece you do not want to miss out please stay tuned and watch how I assemble this beautiful masterpiece also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to comment your thoughts below don't forget to thumbs up this video and share this video with a friend Also guys, I just wanted to give you guys a really huge excitement for this channel, for this brand. I was able to partner with Amazon where I was able to create beautiful and amazing, good quality flowers. So we do have a store on Amazon that's called the Elegant Creator Store. I will elaborate more on it on my channel. I am super humbled and I'm super excited about this partnership with Amazon. It is, you know, absolutely a dream come true. I want to thank you guys so very much from the bottom of my heart for your support. I do have a few colors right now and I do plan on having more colors for the Elegant Creator Store. So, you know, bear with me on that. So we are growing, we're just starting out. I really hope you guys can try them out. Okay guys, this is a centerpiece that I recently did for a previous project. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna disassemble this whole look so that I can use it for this new centerpiece that I will be creating. I'm going to take this hula hoop, I am going to open it apart. I can always reuse my items. I don't necessarily always throw things out that I feel like I'm going to need. And this hoop is definitely one of them. Now once I'm done removing the stickers that binds them together, there you're going to see some little staples here. I'm just going to use my scissors to pull them right on out and that is really easy to do. And then I'm going to pull my hula hoop apart just like this. Take out all of these little objects that's inside of the hula hoop because you would not be needing them in there. I honestly just don't know how this is going to turn out. This is, was just a project that I had in my head that I'm like, okay, I see that I have all the items for where I can create it, but without knowing how it's really gonna turn out. So crossing my fingers that this project, this centerpiece turns out to be great for you guys where I can provide you guys with this content on how you can create this centerpiece. So I'm gonna take my super glue gel, my Gorilla Super Glue Gel. You guys see me use this glue multiple times in my video. Here, so once I'm done adding the glue to the bottom of my unfinished wooden stick, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I place it right in the center of my wooden square plaque. I'm going to take my hula hoop, I'm going to go ahead and place one end here and the other end here. Or You don't have to be a pro at using the drill, but it does require for you to use a drill. I'm going to take my nail here and I'm going to drill it onto my plaque. You want to make sure that you align it with your candlestick that you have here in the middle. The reason why I'm using this surface is because it's much thicker and it will not break the wood and this part is more firm and I will be able to get a really good secure by drilling it here at the edge of my square plaque. Okay so this part it may seem hard but it's really easy to do.
okay now that you have make sure you secured it in place and this is how it's going to look so once i'm done screwing both ends of my hula hoop onto my square wooden plaque so far so good everything is turning out perfect i will be spray painting using this rustoleum 2x gold metallic spray paint next i'm gonna go ahead and take this embroidery hoops it is about 12 inches in diameter what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm going to unscrew this part you see right here and then i'm going to use the second piece to it i'm not going to be using this part but i will be using this part but let's see maybe i can use that part the amazing thing about the embroidery hoop is that you can choose to get it in any size that you want. They come in various of sizes. So this is how my hoops look once it's fully spray painted. Now I'm going to go ahead and embellish my centerpiece by adding this beautiful bling wrap. What you guys think? Should I... Do you guys like it with the bling? Do you guys add, like it without the bling? So comment your thoughts below. I'm gonna go ahead and take this floor disc that you see here. I, I've already went ahead and I cut it into two in the middle. So you wanna make sure you cut it down to the exact size of the inside of your wooden plaque. So I've already went ahead and I've done that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place it inside of my tray like this. And this is how it's going to look. Assemble your garland onto your hoop is pretty simple and pretty easy. So all I did is use a some type of floor tape or floor wire or anything that you can use to tie my garland front and back of my hoop. And then I just take my beautiful red roses you see right here. And I just use my hot glue to glue it onto my centerpiece. So it's pretty easy to do. You can choose to assemble your centerpiece however way you like when it comes to arranging the flowers. So arranging the flowers is pretty much a preference in how you like it to look. I'm adding about four beautiful, four beautiful of those red roses with their leaves on each side of my hoop. done with my flower arrangement you can choose to add one of these beautiful crystal balls or a crystal globe 
which I think either or is still very pretty to use. I'm going to go ahead and use this beautiful crystal ball. And it's made out of glass. And the crystal is also made out of glass. I think it's very beautiful. Alright guys, so we're all done with my centerpiece. I would love to hear your thought below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I truly appreciate it guys. Bye guys.